There is a receiver who is handpicked by college football's most explosive offenses to be their wide receiver one and is not getting the ADP love that he should. That's Jermaine Burton, formerly of the Georgia Bulldogs, now on Alabama, one of the best offenses in the country. You don't need me to tell you that. Um, and he was taken out of the transfer portal to come be the wide receiver one primary target for Bryce Young, the number one quarterback in the 2023 class. And yet he is the wide receiver 12 in ADP. That doesn't make any sense to me. I've got him at the wide receiver six. I think I've seen him as high as wide receiver three at our website. Some people like him even more than me, but this is a guy who is a premium recruit came over from California to go to UGA um, and he had success early on in his career. His weighted dominator in year one with only 400 yards above the average for future NFL top 24 wide receiver. So because the offense is not very explosive, his raw stats were not terribly impressive, but as a percentage of the team's production, it was pretty good for a true freshman coming in. Additionally, another metric that we like to look at is yards per team pass attempt. Again, he was over the average for future NFL wide receiver twos. Um, or better and this year two in both instances was a was a step back there's no doubt about that Brock Bowers the freshman tight end really outproduced him and it shows up in these metrics however the Georgia offense with Stetson Bennett running a game managing program and a lot of running plays and a Kirby Smart led team who wants to play defense and run the ball control the clock is not the best place for a receiver to thrive even George Pickens, who wound up being a second-round pick in this year's draft, never really put up amazing eye-popping stats on the field at UGA. So Burton now says, see ya, I'm going to where they throw the ball and they have an explosive passing attack at Alabama. I'm going to go play with the best quarterback in the country, Bryce Young. And I think we're going to see a really nice season from Jermaine Burton. Uh, Alabama's done this before. They took Jamison Williams from Ohio State. He really didn't play at all for two years, came to Alabama year one, boom, uh, tremendous season and was really the, the skeleton key to unlock Bryce Young in that offense. Just incredible performance. And he got drafted in the top 15 picks of the NFL draft just with one year of production because it's Alabama, because it's the SEC. There just doesn't need to be a whole lot of prove it when you're at Alabama. And so we're going to see Jermaine Burton come over here and yeah, I think at worst, you were talking about like 75 catches, 1,000 yards, eight touchdowns. That seems to be like minimum, which for college fantasy, that may not move the needle too much. But even that type of season, I think gets him drafted on day two in the NFL draft. Um, I think there's a ceiling here of like 100 catches for 1,500 yards and 15 touchdowns. That's not out of the realm of possibility at all. In fact, I think that's like, you know, would be a 75th percentile outcome. We're not even talking about like 99th percentile outcome, uh, which would certainly be a starter on any uh, college fantasy team. And a year like that is going to put him in the first round of the NFL draft. He's a well-built player, about six feet, 200 pounds. So he's bigger than John Mechie, who just graduated and was kind of a, in that mold, kind of a possession receiver, really good route runner, uh, enough speed. But Mechie, I don't think, had quite the tenacious yards after catch ability uh, that Burton has. He was a little bit more slight of frame, but a good route runner fast enough and actually was, was a premier target uh, for Bryce Young. And Jamison Williams was a little bit more of that deep threat. But I think Burton can come in and be a little bit more of like maybe a souped up John Mechie, which is pretty exciting because John Mechie just went in the second round in the NFL draft. But if Jermaine Burton's like an upgrade over John Mechie, in terms of he's bigger, he's got more yak ability, kind of a possession guy, but also can be moved all around the field so he can bump into the slot, he can win on the outside. He's got more pure athleticism by the testing than Mechie, in my opinion. You know, a 4-4 four, four speed, uh, 40, that's similar to Mechie, but a 40-inch vert, which is really explosive uh, from the opening, and he may have even you know improved on that throughout his college career. This is a guy who's a, who's a really interesting and exciting specimen who was just tamped down at UGA with that offense and what they want to do there. But needless to say, I think wide receiver 12 is wide receiver 12 is a tremendous value. 
Now, knowing that that's his ADP, I'm not telling you to take him at, at six. I'm telling you, you can either you know do something different in your draft, maybe take a different player, knowing, hey, I can get Burt later, or just stack two wide receiver ones if you want to take another one earlier, and then know, hey, I'm going to be able to get Burton later, and all these other people are taking other guys. Speaking of the other players, who else is going ahead of Burton that I think is such a problem? Well, number one is Rakeem Jarrett. This is a guy who is the first player off the bus type of physique. He looks great. His production's been a little bit lacking. I know people still really like him, but he's playing in an up-tempo, pass-heavy offense at Maryland. Probably more exciting quarterback than Stetson Bennett at Maryland. And he just hasn't really produced. I mean, he's been okay, but he has not been, you know, the stud we thought he would be. He's been outproduced by uh, an upperclassman in Dante Dimas, who comes back again this year. And so... You know, I think Burton should absolutely be going over Raheem Jarrett. Uh, there's a few other ones. You know, I think Josh Downs is a little bit overrated in terms of his projection to the NFL. And at this point in the draft, we're talking about ADP of wide receiver, you know, 12 to even in the 20s. I'm looking at guys, my primary weight on how I look at guys is NFL potential. And I think Josh Downs is going to be fine. I think he's more of a day two pick, whereas I think Burton, if he performs, is, a, is definitely a first round type uh, talent. And so I think Josh Downs shouldn't be going over him. We've also got two Ohio State wide receivers. So there's not even the argument of, oh, I don't like the crowded wide receiver room. We've got two Buckeyes being selected ahead of Jermaine Burton, neither of which do I think should be. I mean, I like Marvin Harrison as much as the next person, but still going to be the wide receiver two in his own offense behind JSN next year. He probably will pop in year three, like really pop. And that will be great. Probably go to the NFL. Um, but I still think I'd rather Burton because I, I think the path to a, being a first round pick and the closeness to the NFL kind of puts him ahead of, of, ahead of Harrison for me. And then you've got Amika Buka, who's also being drafted ahead of Jermaine Burton. And, and he's going to be the third receiver in his offense this year and probably still the second receiver in his third year behind Marvin Harrison, you know, projecting a little bit down the line here, but he's going to be neck and neck with Harrison in his own offense, you know, we got a guy in Burton who was handpicked to be the wide receiver one on the, one of the best draft capital rich offenses for wide receivers in the entire country. And the, the staff said, hey, we want you. He, Burton was one of the first guys into the portal and the first guys to go to Alabama. Like this was intentional. This is not Alabama saying, oh, my gosh, I need to go find somebody because they never do that anyway. But, like, this was a hand-picked guy for Alabama to have come play for them. It's going to explode this year, and wide receiver 12 is just way too low. I think he should be at least wide receiver 6, and like I said, some people I know have met wide receiver 3. So enjoy that ADP while it lasts, and have no problem taking Jermaine Burton. Do not be scared off by the UGA stuff. If nothing else, just rely on the fact that like Alabama is premium talent evaluators, okay? They not only get the best talent to come play for them, but they also put them into the NFL with a high draft pick as much as anybody else in the entire country. So it's not simply about recruiting the best players. It's about recruiting the best players and also turning them into the best versions of themselves and sending them off to the NFL. And I think that's what Alabama is going to do here with Jermaine Burton. Be sure and check out everything we've got at campus2canada.com. More rankings, more articles, more strategy for your college football side, for your NFL football side. Uh, we're really ramping up recruiting as we head into the 2023 class. So coverage there for who's next on the scene in college football. Be sure and check us out. Thanks for watching.